The enigmatic gargoyle peppers our churches, colleges and even our country houses. Let's delve for a while into the ghostly world of these decorative little devils. Walk around any town or village and you'll probably find a gargoyle clinging to the edge of a building, gazing outward over the skyline. The origins of these bizarre bits of plumbing, for that's what they first were, remains obscure. They can be traced back to ancient Egypt, Greece and Rome, when decorated terracotta water spouts depicting lions, eagles and other creatures were common. Today, you can still see such devices on the Parthenon in Athens and on the ruins at Pompeii. We know that the word gargoyle comes from an old French word, gargoule, meaning throat, from which our verb to gargle also derives. But it was in the Middle Ages, in around 1220, that the gargoyle really took off. Medieval carvers really let their imaginations run riot, creating fantastical figures, some animal, some human, and some an alarming mixture of the two. A wealth of these graced the medieval buildings of Europe, each with its own personality. Even single buildings can display a perplexing variety of gargoyles. Night Hayes Court, not far from here, has a variety of examples. Coming in so many guises, it's hardly surprising that gargoyles are hard to decipher. Some, it seems, were intended to ward off evil spirits. Those at Notre Dame in Paris are said to keep watch for drowning victims in the Seine, coming alive at night and flying to their rescue. Gargoyles using their hands to pull their mouths open, known as mouth pullers, are seen by some as the embodiment of Satan, who was often depicted pulling his tongue out at his victims. Some experts believe that mouth pullers are just a representation of childish mouth pulling games common in the medieval times. Certain gargoyles actually display the physical characteristics of the devil, including wings, vampire fangs, and clawed feet. Often, gargoyles depict local characters at the time now long since forgotten. This is one that is remembered. It was placed here by a disgruntled stonemason who was not paid what was promised. It faces the home of the defaulting official. The Victorian age saw a Gothic revival and many churches and country houses from that period are bedecked with these mysterious figures. Many of them bristle with turrets, griffins and elaborate water spouts with gargoyles leering at the visitor, such as at Knight Hayes Court already mentioned, which was designed by William Burgess. Gargoyles have crossed the Atlantic. Perhaps they can fly after all. To be used as a decoration rather than a functional water spout, 
and have found homes on the churches and skyscrapers of New York, Chicago and Washington. The Chrysler Building became the icon of the modern age, yet its grim eagle gargoyles stare out over the city. Washington National Cathedral, started in 1907, has an astounding 112 gargoyles, each with a story behind it. They include a hippie, a crooked politician, a dentist, a robot and even Darth Vader. From their origins thousands of years ago to the present day, gargoyles have retained their ability to hold our attention. We still smile at their appearance and wonder at their meaning. So next time you're on holiday or a day out, look up. You might find you're being watched.